everyone so we are going to start next session yes this is regarding learning the materia medica uh, there was there were there was one uh, comment regarding the um, one because uh, by one of the students that you should not use hanuman hanuman saran sa ullekh ekeri karaycha nasto my dear friend first important thing with due respect to dr samuel hanuman our founder of homeopathy and because of him we are here when we are dealing with the lectures every time if you are going to say it, a respected dr hanuman respected dr samuel hanuman or all those things the lecture never becomes a remains a lecture whenever you are delivering a lecture whenever you utilize a word hanuman it it is with a due respect to dr samuel hanuman so basically one should understand if you are not able to understand those things it's a question of you but one should understand whenever you are listening any specific lecture the you have to understand the matter of the lecture you have to understand the dynamics of the lecture and you should not find it out it is it, it becomes that you are finding it out the faults in the lecture you are not you are not there for understanding the thing so basically one must understand all those things these are very simple things one must understand now we'll turn towards a different aspect of learning a materia medica today up till now five remedies we have learned from the allens now we'll turn towards the borix materia medica in order to understand the arsenic album you will feel that sir why you are going towards such books or borix materia medica or allen's keynotes my suggestion is that go from simple things to learn a difficult things that is the simple way of learning i myself used to learn in the similar manner i have taught same thing to my son and a daughter how to learn and this is my simple method i always go or i always start with the simple things i used to understand a uh, simple things first i understand them in such a manner that i never forget those things and then i enter into understanding of the same remedy from a different 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 aspect so i start always starts with the allen's keynotes then i used to use a uh, borix materia medica the third um, materia medica i used to use is the nash materia medica fourth materia medica i enters to learn the kent's materia medica to learn the same thing then i used to learn the margaret tyler's materia medica drug, homeopathic drug pictures then clark's materia medica there are n number of books available and everyone looks towards the materia medica with different view and you have to understand all those things in future but if you understand those basics which are given by allen and bory those are having a most practical value in your practice and that's why it is too important uh, to understand all those things so i will start with the arsenic album uh, it is given arsenic arsenious acid or arsenic trioxide it is a oxide of arsenic we have learned one more remedy aluminium and aluminium again it was the aluminium oxide and on that day only i have explained that whenever oxide is there generally that oxide used to produce a syphilitic type of reaction and that's why a remedy generally goes to the syphilitic miasm arsenic is one of the important remedy which is having soro syphilitic aspect it play, it has uh, two miasms in it to which one might label with the new miasm as a tuber killer but soro syphilitic plays a very vital role because arsenic is being a syphilitic remedy and soric attitude it is very acute as well as it is very chronic at both level this remedy works this is too important to understand oxide is always used to produce a destructive reactions inside the human body and that's why that remedy also having similar type of action and that's why it is one of the important remedy from the same miasm we'll learn the first sentence a profoundly acting remedy on every organ and tissues kay dile profoundly acting remedy on every organ and tissue baka first sentence gives you a understanding of arsenic arsenic sub 
arsenic acts on every tissue every organ it is a polycrest and this polycrest works at both level it produces acute reactions it produces chronic futures also and that's why arsenic is most important remedy in your day to day practice its clear cut characteristic symptoms and correspondence to many severe types of diseases this is make its homeopathic employment constant and certain so you you go on finding it out it in day to day practice for n number of things so you if you get a food poisoning case number of times you get arsenic album if you get asthmatic cases you can get arsenic album number of times depending on characteristic symptoms sometimes you get just a acute coryza again you can reach to the arsenic album depending on its characteristic symptom in day to day practice for fever typhoid like fevers number of times you can think of arsenic so there are n number of elements which used to happen in day to day practice and you get you require this salt this um, remedy in general symptoms often alone uh, its general symptoms often alone lead to its successful application if you understand the general symptoms of arsenic you can apply arsenic very clearly if you understand the keynotes of arsenic you can apply arsenic very easily and that's why the understanding that general state understanding that those keynotes plays a very vital role in understanding the arsenic album what he says among these the all prevailing debility exhaustion and restlessness with nightly aggravation are most important baka char symptom tani sangitlet sagalyat mahatvacha kay the first is debility borik borik it's borik matter medica debility de what is debility debility is weakness loss of strength whenever the debil uh, debilitated patient comes it means that he has suffered because of some acute problem and he has lost his energy he has um, either because of Uh, because of some dehydration produced because of gastroenteritis sometimes high grade fever producing dehydration exhausted and he become he suffered from it so debility is nothing but the exhausted state exhaustion thakwa and restlessness this is very important this restlessness plays a very vital role and it is basically a mental restlessness which you get because because of the anguish state पर्सन इज एंग्विश एंग्विश म्हणजे यातना होणं यातना म्हणजे काय तर एखादा पेशंट जेव्हा तुमच्याकडे येतो तो खूप पेनमुळे सफर झालेला असतो पेन्स ऑफ एनी टाईम्स एट टाईप्स इट इज नॉट स्पेसिफिक विथ द स्पेसिफिक डिसऑर्डर इट माईट बी बिकॉज ऑफ टू रिलेटेड टू एनी स्पेसिफिक एनी स्पेसिफिक सिस्टीम विच विथ विच इज सफरिंग बट दॅट पेन कॉझिंग हिम आर टू बिकम मोर अँड मोर रेस्टलेस मेंटली अँड दॅट्स वाय ही कॅनॉट स्लीप he cannot sit in one place even though he is exhausted debilitated he cannot sit because there was a fear in his mind whether he he may going to die whether his disease which becomes incurable so always there is in at the back of the mind there always remains to be a anxious state and that's why restlessness is always there with the with this patient अर्सेनिकचा पेशंटमधला रेस्टलेसनेस जो असतो तो कसा पाहायचा तर पेशंट तुमच्याकडे येतो त्यावेळेला तो एक पोझिशनमध्ये बसत नाही तो सतत पोझिशन बदलत असतो किंवा तो सतत ति तिथून जातो डॉक्टर मी तिथं बेडवर झोपलंच चालेल का बेडवर झोपतो परत उठतो नाही मी इथंच बसतो किंवा वेन यू इफ यू हॅव अ व्हिडिओ कॅमेराज यू कॅन ऑब्झर्व द वेटिंग रूम व्हिडिओ कॅमेराज गिव्ज यू अ लॉट ऑफ थिंग्स ऑफ अंडरस्टँडिंग पेशंट बिकॉज ही इज नॉट इन फ्रंट ऑफ यू ही इज वॉट एव्हर ही इज डुईंग ही इज डुईंग इट सबकॉन्शियसली not consciously and those subconscious things gives you individuality of that patient so if uh, there are number of patients who are arsenic patients sits in your opd and they continuously moves here and there again sits again goes here and there they are always restless so that restlessness you can find it out looking towards the patient not asking are you restless and uh, among these all prevailing restlessness with nightly aggravation yes nightly aggravation is very important and very specifically 12 o'clock or between 12 to 1 is most common period which is mentioned midnight aggravation for the arsenic album 
uh, this is if this time if any patient disturbs your sleep this is the most important remedy one must not forget because if he calls you at that time definitely he is in restless phase because of which he is trying he, is, he has tried here level best to disturb you second important thing he is in agony he, he is definitely in agony and with a nightly aggravation so think about this remedy in in the background what he says then great exhaustion after the slightest exertion yes thoda sa challa ki lages dam lagto doctor mala this is because of two reasons first there is a debility second important thing it might happen because of circulatory failure if there is a dehydration uh, if there is a patient if the patient is in shock it might be it might happen and patient gets disturbed because of it uh, sometimes Mm, it happens because of circulatory failure patient may go into the cardiac failure and uh, there is a mm, chronic passive venous congestion or passive venous congestion which is producing a uh, pulmonary congestion and because of which patient is become patient is becoming more and more uh, breathless so great exhaustion after slightest exertion breathlessness is quite common with them this is with the peculiar irritability of the fiber gives the characteristic irritable weakness so what is irritable weakness irritable weakness means weakness is there but because of mind is getting disturbed because of anguish and person becomes more and more disturbed because of that so this irritability along with the restlessness is the characteristic of the arsenic album it is the mental irritability expre expressing the restlessness of the patient so weakness associated with restlessness debility associated with the restlessness is the arsenic album uh, weakness burning pains yes this is the most important burning remedy we know the three burning trios of burning out of which arsenic is first second one everyone knows is the phosphorus and third one sulfur but arsenic burning has its own characteristic arsenic burning wherever it may be whether it is in inside whether it is related with the um, skin affections whether it is related with any disorder that burning is always better by warm application or hot application so it is it is something um, queer again burning generally logically feels better by cold is a logical but if it patient says you a doctor ji khup aag hoti hai ani yala garam pani takla ta far bar vatta whatever may be the disease first thing ko arsenic album because because it is a keynote of the arsenic album so burning pains wherever they are they are always feel better by a Uh, hot application that is characteristic of arsenic album in case of phosphorus phosphorus internally the burning is better by cold so that's why he craves the ice cream he craves the cold drinks uh, but externally if burning is there it is better by warm um, if it is the um, sulfur sulfur is always better feels better by cold application unquenchable thirst unquenchable thirst means tremendous thirst khup taan lagte kashi taan lagte that is also characteristic he requires he is thirsty but always have a thirst for sips of water pratyek thoda 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 vele any patient thoda 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 pani ghet asto that is very typical about the arsenic album अनक्वेन्चेबल न भागवता येणारी ती कशाने थांबत नाही दॅट इज व्हेरी टिपिकल देन बर्निंग रिलीव्ड बाय हिट ऑलरेडी वी हॅव डिस्कस सी साईड कंप्लेंट्स लाईक नेट्रम मोर एक्वामरिना नेट्रम सल्प येस सी साईड कंप्लेंट्स सो दिस इज अनादर कॅरेक्टरिस्टिक विच वन मस्ट कन्सिडर जनरली द रेस्पिरेटरी कंप्लेंट्स गेट्स ॲक्रेवेटेड ॲट सी शोअर दॅट इज द की नोट ऑफ दोज रेमेडीज देन burning really uh, aqua uh, marina these are two remedies injurious effects of the fruit specially more watery one yes injurious mm, uh, to the fruits so generally a food poisoning 
fruit poisoning i will suggest more specifically fruit poisoning with a watery fruits watery fruits manje kay ta sadya cha season la tarbuz kallan patient hai to tumche kade khup diarrhea vomiting jhala that is very common nowadays kiwa ekada patient tumche kade to to khup draksha khalle draksha an tyala diarrhea jhala this is quite common nowadays ata tyacha don goshti astat manje ek to watery fruit फ्रूट है तैमे पन एंड सेकंड थिंग्स देर आर एन नंबर ऑफ थिंग्स विच स्प्रेज विच आर एप्लाइड ओवर दोज फ्रूट्स इन ऑर्डर टू सेव दोज फ्रूट्स एंड दोज आर हजार डस्ट टू द ह्यूमन बीइंग मे दैट ऑल्सो कॉजेस इमिजिएटली अ रिएक्शन एंड इट कैन इट ऑल्सो कॉजेस अ सीवियर पॉइजनस रिएक्शन विथ द ह्यूमन बीइंग एंड सच टाइप्स ऑफ पेशेंट्स it is basically a uh, arsenic one must think of arsenic ki remedy khup mahatvachi lakshat theva mag asha tikane jala ajun ek shabd yil pude bahutek majhe mate tomen poisoning matla jata tomen poisoning manje kay tar the it is the poisoning which happens because of the food entity it is a food poisoning and which develops a uh, i will share one case just i, I have recollected one case Uh, in morning only 9 o'clock one patient was brought a child around 6 7 6 years old was brought to me and uh, with her uh, with his mother and see what she said doctor bagan yala zara patkan yala kay zala ko nasto ek 2 5 7 minute zale kayis bole na ani tela 3 sakal pasna don ulte zale bhakta and i have taken him on the clinical bed directly i have checked his pulse and he was pulseless एंड शी टोल्ड सका ये फ्त रि शि का राहल हो खाल खाल कि दोन वॉमिटिंग उलट जा हाला का बोले ना लकीली ही ही वॉज एबल टू केम टू मै क्लिनिक इन दैट कंडिशन मैं तैयार अस उचल मैं अस के हेडलो के हाथ दोन हाथ उचल पेशंटला तसा तस हॉस्पिटल मधे नरती एंड आई पुट इमिजिएटली करनापूर्वी मैं तेल दोन ड्रॉप्स आर्सेनिक आल्बम टू हंड्रेड से जीपी पर टाकले एंड लॉजिकली हैव कन्सिडर्ड इट इज फूड पॉइजनिंग फर्स्ट रेमेडी आई थॉट इज आर्सेनिक आल्बम बिकॉज इट इज एक्यूट पेशंट गोइंग इन टू द शॉक एंड इट इज आर्सेनिक आल्बम मैं तो पेशंटला तसा तस वरती हॉस्पिटल मधे घेन गेलो इन अ हेडलो पोजिशन उचल आ वरती गर ही अगेन केम आउट ऑफ द शॉक तेजी पल्स पालपेट वह लगली व्यवस्थितपने ही स्टार्टेड अटरिंग वर्ड्स टॉकिंग एंड आई हैव केप्ट हिम फॉर अ डे एंड आई हैव आई हैव गिवन हिम जस्ट इन ओरल रिहाइड्रेशन एंड आई केप्ट दैट पेशंट फॉर अ डे एंड देर वेर नो मोर वॉमिटिंग्स इन होल डे एंड ही केम आउट ऑफ द सीच्युएशन this acute reaction acute remedy can work in such types of condition so this is very important injurious effects of fruit especially more watery ones gives quiet and ease to last moments of life when given in high potency ata ha ek prashna far mahatvacha hai khup janna yacha var prashna padto parantu majha manna hai ki he sentence kharat meaningful hai arsenic one should use cautiously even robin murphy have commented on this um, that yes if a patient is in a very severe state he is in the state of uh, what you can say um, in 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 a in a condition that he is absolutely uh, suspended animation state sarkya state madhe ahe ki now there are very less chances that patient can be revived and patient is suffering a lot because of diseases in such types of patient sometimes if you use arsenic depending upon similimum what are what things can happen question was asked to robin murphy and he has answered that either patient get a peaceful death if it is not it is not recoverable or either patient can came out of the situation these are the two possibilities which can happen because of this remedy and yes peaceful death happens definitely it works it in such a manner uh, after giving a medicine uh, patient who is in tremendous agony and not able to come out of the situation absolutely uh, irreversible disorder is there this remedy uh, has a role that it cures or it makes the patient uh, quiet 
So this is one of the important thing one must know. Fear, fright and worry. These are three important things. There is a fear, there is a fright and there is a worry. Out of which worry is a fright and worry, all those things, out of which worry plays a very vital role. Aconite and arsenic looks very close to each other. In aconite, fear dominates our, um, anxiety. In arsenic, anxiety dominates the fear. Manje kai? The patient is aconite the patient tum chakade to and to aconite the patient tum chakade ally, to tum chakade asani and arto shanta pane baslela na cell. He comes, enters, he never thinks who is sitting over there, he directly knocks your door, doctor me atyuka emergency urgent kai tari karak me morel to me, please, 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 he is in agony, tosses is in agony. Whatever may, may be the problem. Whether it may be a to take, it may be a fever, it may be a heart attack, whatever it may be, he comes in that specific homeopathic state, his own individuality. And that time it is the aconite one must think. Arsenic never comes. Arsenic is there in front of you. He talks with a lot of anxiety. You, you watch his countenance, face shows a typical anxiety. And he asks, Doctor, me will come. He is restless. Doctor Kharas Napan. This is this is the this is the very important thing. Here anxiety is more marked than the fear. Fear, because of fear, anxiety is there. But fear element is comparatively less as compared to the aconite over here. Green discharges, yes, this is very important. Generally the psychotic element a psychotic condition. Uh, more common with the natrum sulfuricum, all types of discharges are greenish over there. But this is one of the important thing. Uh, infantile kala hazar. Apan ha uh, kai karto apan ashe se ashe shabdas tatna ye sodun deto. Aple kai sambandh nahi. Infantile kala hazar. Kala hazar. In fact, it is the Indian name given to the disorder. Originally, it is leishmaniasis. Uh, it is caused because of a parasite. It is a, a more, um, it has more mortality rate, and that's why uh, this infantile kala hazar. It is a, it is a again a disorder which is dangerous like a COVID. It can mortality rate is very high. Here again there are symptoms that fever is there, the lymphadenopathy is there, the toxicity is there, the breathlessness is there. All those features, fevers are there, uh, features are there. It is also called as black fever in India, in Indian country, Indian nation. And that's why it is called as an infantile kala. Kala is a Hindi word. It is a black fever which is named over there. So arsenic, again they have selected this name and mentioned arsenic album because arsenic has that typical state which produces which is there in Kalahazar. Arsenic should be thought of in elements from alcoholism. Alcoholism because of alcoholism if a person suffers he comes in a disease state poisoning state think of arsenic first. If he comes to you with gastroenteritis or lot of gastritis, vomiting, first think of arsenic album. Second is tomen poisoning. Yes, that word already we have discussed. It is a food poisoning which happens because of the um, like uh, different types of um, poisons over there, like a botulinum which um, uh, Weber have men mentioned over there. Yes. Then the stings of insects. Yes, again a very important remedy other than the Epis mellifica or ledum pal, this is one more remedy one should think of. If the typical burning happens and better by warm, think of arsenic album at that time. If it is a burning better by absolute ice cold water, think of ledum pal at that time. Uh, dissecting wounds. What is dissecting wounds? Dissecting wounds may where crush injuries there or sometimes even a major surgical operation have been done and lot of injury happens to be there. This is one remedy one should not forget in such types of cases because sometimes there is a poisoning happens. It produces endotoxins producing a shock like condition and in such types of states it is one of the important remedy. Then elements from chewing tobacco. Yes, this is good remedy for the tobacco chewers who suffers from number of symptoms because of tobacco chewing. If any element happens to be there because of tobacco chewing, 
यू मस्ट थिंक अबाउट द आर्सेनिक एल्बम इल इफेक्ट फ्रॉम डिकेड फूड और एनिमल मैटर येस डिकेड फूड ऑलरेडी वी हैव डिस्कस्ड इट इज फूड पॉइजनिंग बिकॉज ऑफ डिकेड फूड बट एनिमल मैटर एनिमल मैटर बेसिकली इट इज अगेन डिकेड एनिमल मैटर का होते कई जन दोज हू जनरली यूज टू टेक नॉन व्जिटेरियन फूड आई जन इतक आवड़े तो खूब प्रमाण में आल जता कई वेला शिलक रह कई जन मग दोन दोन तीन तीन दिवस ते खाता मैं अर्सेनिक होन तुम्हें ये दिस इज द क्वाइट कॉमन थिंग विच हैपन्स बिकॉज इट गेट्स डिकेड एंड दैट डिकेड फूड वेन एवर प्रोड्यूसेस गैस्ट्रो इंटेस्टेनल फ्यूचर और समटाइम्स इट प्रोड्यूसेस अलॉन्ग विथ दैट अ फ्यूअर आई जनरली सेज दैट फूड पॉइजनिंग और गैस्ट्रो एंट्राइटिस असोसिएटेड विथ फ्यूअर असोसिएटेड विथ थस्टलेसनेस असोसिएटेड विथ रेस्टलेसनेस ओनली रेमेडी थिंक ऑफ आर्सेनिक फस्ट इन एन इन एक्यूट प्रैक्टिस दिस इज माई हिंट आई विल गोइंग टू से दैट ऑर्डर ऑफ इल इफेक्ट्स ऑफ ऑर्डर ऑफ डिस्चार्जेस सॉरी ऑर्डर ऑफ डिस्चार्जेस इज प्यूट्रीड सो वॉट एवर मे बी डिस्चार्जेस इट इट स्मेल्स वेरी प्यूट्रीड इट इज इट इज एज इफ अ लॉट ऑफ वॉट यू कैन से द पर्स हैपन्स टू बी देअर एंड इट इज इट फाउल्स इट हैज अ फाउल स्मेल इन कंप्लेन्ट्स दैट रिटर्न एन्युअली येस दिस इज वन मोर रेमेडी फॉर द पिराइडिसिटी we have learned china periodicity very important remedy this is one more periodicity remedy and that's why this is again one more remedy for the intermittent fever basically for the um, uh, malaria uh, arsenic plays a very vital role in malaria like fevers anemia and chlorosis doni goshti hai and doni goshti same as it was both are having same meaning it has less hemoglobin in fact breathlessness is the result of it second important thing here renal system is also at the first and that's why the um, anemia is there it is also because of the hemolysis which happens to be there uh, anemia is there so there are number of number of times you have anemia in such types of patient and that's why patient becomes more breathless degenerative changes yes that itself explains you a myism and in, in, this is a remedy which produces degeneration it has a capacity to cover that degenerative states degeneration at all level even a mental degeneration i will say because the mind is a syphilitic mind with the arsenic album they are very 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 restless in fact crooked mind you can find find it out with the arsenic album so degeneration at all levels makes this remedy more syphilitic gradual uh, loss of weight from impaired nutrition yes this is again a common you get a gradually loss of weight because of impaired nutrition so gi system is at fault in in uh, arsenic album reduces the refractive index of blood serum also china and ferum first so these are the these are the remedies where you get a uh, more anemia and that's why uh, it this sentence is mentioned over there china perampos um, arsenic album all those remedies hemol um, hemolytic remedies maintains the system under the stress of malignancy regardless of location see malignancy this is again covering the cancer so cancer myism is nothing but the in between myism state cancerous malignancies are quite common with the arsenic album the pains of malignancies one should not forget of arsenic for such condition there are num- number of remedies depending on the characteristic ultimately you have to choose but don't forget the arsenic album regarding this then malarial cachexia malarial cachexia intermittent fever already we have discussed the exhaustion cachexia is a weakness it is the tremendous weakness which happens person becomes weak emaciated because of it and that is the malarial cachexia and this is a good remedy for intermittent fever because it is uh, having a typical periodicity and last sentence of the first parag- second paragraph was septic infections and low vitality septicemia one should not forget the arsenic album so septicemia whenever comes we have already discussed in la, while discussing 
the bryonia, the pyrogen over there. Pyrogen is most important remedy in septicemia state. Baptisia is also one of the remedy definitely in septicemic state. Everyone is having their septicemia, showing their individuality while expressing the septicemia. So accordingly you have to consider, either you have to consider arsenic, pyrogen, depending on their specificity you have to consider. If you are considering the baptisia, uh, on that day I have explained that the pulse, pulse is not proportional, it is too much in case of pyrogen. I will say exactly opposite with the bryonia, sorry, baptisia. In baptisia, it is pulse is very less relative bradycardia, you can find it out with the baptisia as compared to the pyrogen. So septic states and low vitality. So because of septicemia, always a uh, vitality becomes less. So in such a low vitality state, you can give arsenic album and brings back brings the patient again in a vital state. So low susceptible states can be treated with the arsenic album. I want to suggest few things. I, I will not going to discuss the mind of arsenic album because there is very less time remaining with us. Uh, two things three things I want to highlight over here. Uh, these first two paragraphs before the mind of Borix Matra Medica gives you understanding about the general understanding of the remedy. And these are the hints which always plays very vital role in day-to-day uh, -day practice. So if you give uh, more and more time to learn this by heart and understand the remedy at this level, you catch the remedy when a patient is sitting in front of you. I am telling you very, very simple things. I am not going to give you a details. La later on, I will suggest about the other Matra Medica. But first, for every homeopathic student, those who are not practitioner, I'm, this is not for the practitioners what I am saying. I am saying it for the students. They should give uh, more concentrate on Allen's Matra Medica and Borix Matra Medica, these two paragraphs, because it gives the generalities of the remedy. And with the generalities, you can reach to the similimum very easily. That's why you must know generalities of every remedy first and then understand the particulars of the remedy. So, today we have all finished only this aspect of the arsenic album. Now, I will suggest one more book to all of you. And in fact, it is the best book I have ever read. Je pustak, homeopathic pustak, vatsthana kuthai kantaret nai and it becomes very easy and it even he has started in the similar manner is E.B. Nash, Leaders in Homeopathic Therapeutics. Tumi zar E.B. Nash, jenni vatsale ten tenke baptit nai param to jenna mahit nai ten students la mala sangai te ki he pustak pratyeka ni vikad ghyava. Ya madhe tumi zar suruvat ke li ta pahilis remedy naqswami ka di liye. इथे अल्फाबेट्स पेटिकली रेमेडीज मांडल्या नाही आहेत ही हॅज स्टार्टेड विथ नक्सोमिका आणि नक्सोमिका मध्ये पुढे 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 जात त्याने नक्सोमिकाला कॉम्प्लिमेंट करत पुढे किंवा कॉमन टू अनकॉमन ही हॅज एक्सप्लेन द रेमेडीज आणि एव्हरी रेमेडी ही हॅज एक्सप्लेन विथ हिज ओन कॉमेंट्री खूप सोप्या पद्धतीने लक्षात राहील असं मट रेमेडिका शिकायचं असेल तर दिस इज थर्ड बुक विच आय विल सजेस्ट फॉर एव्हरी स्टुडंट दॅट दे शुड गो विथ द लिडर्स इन होमिओपॅथिक थेरापेटिक्स बाय ई बी नॅश दोज स्टुडंट्स हू यूज टू रिमेन इन संगमनेर वी हॅव ऑल दोज बुक्स इन अवर सेंटर फॉर इवन फॉर सेल दोज हू वॉन्ट्स टू परचेस दे कॅन परचेस दोज हू आर इन संगमनेर Uh, this book is very, very interesting and very simple, lucid language it has been written. Uh, it feels like uh, as if he is talking with you. Ibi Nash is talking with you. The way the Shankaran books are there. And Dr. Rajan Shankaran, he used to, if you listen him in seminars or even on YouTube, you can find it out. The way he talks is very simple language. I like him very much, even foreigners like him because he, he talks in such a simple way that everyone can understand and he writes whenever any Matra Medica or any book, his language is again the lucid as if he was talking with us. The same thing happens with the E.B. Nash Matra Medica. So one should not um, miss this book, everyone should go through this. 
थैंक यू फॉर लिसनिंग टूडे एंड अटेंडिंग इन सच अ ग्रेट स्ट्रेंथ टुमारो विल गो अहेड विथ द कॉम्प्लीमेंट्री डू नॉट नॉट विथ कॉम्प्लीमेंट्री वील गोइंग टू शेयर द दोज रेमेडीज विच आर मेन्शन एज अ रेमेडीज फॉर दिस स्पेसिफिकली epidemic num by number of patient so tomorrow i will going to share camphor with all of you camphor hi remedy apan shiknar aho tude ani doni tin hi chari remedies jhale then we'll discuss a differentiating factors of them out of them which is the good remedy one one must think we'll we'll do that so thank you very much for attending the today's sessions and those who are there who do, who are not in the group they should join the group uh send me uh your name if you are practicing tell where you practice right over there and uh, give your uh, name so that i will add you in homeopathy group so that you can get um, immediate details on whatsapp group those who are students they should mention that in which class they are and in which college they are so that i can um send i can add them again in the group so that we help, will have everyone and you can get a message very easily there are few um, practitioners are uh, there who are my colleagues in the in my class dr swati mane she is there uh, i think dr bahmini shah she was uh, she is also there maybe dr um, um, i forgot there are number of number of people who are there those are those who are colleagues of me when they are uh, in the bhms they are also attending them very much thank you for coming for the session and i'm in fact before you i am happy because i want i am getting a chance to share with all of you such a things tomorrow will go ahead thank you very much i ask me not to conclude the things and we'll meet again tomorrow same time 230 thank you very much